The task the airline industry faces is rebuilding the pilot skills that automation takes away from them. Contrary to a lot of comments you will hear, this is not a function of the atrophying of manual motor skills. It's brain skills and awareness that is being lost. I would qualify that statement about loss of manual skills by saying that flying on instruments is a skill that needs frequent practice because it requires sophisticated cognitive skills. But even in instrument flying, it's not the loss of motor skills that's the killer. It's the loss of that ability to recognise, believe and understand what the instruments are telling you. But the loss of these skills is being covered up by the cleverness and reliability of the flight management systems and the autopilot autothrottle systems that they direct. Even the pilots don't know whether they've lost these skills or not. They don't find out unless the automatics fail. And then with the stress of a systems failure reducing your brain's capacity to take good decisions, that's a bad time to find out you no longer have the skills to cope. Just a simple analogy for you about the loss of skills. I recently discovered I'd forgotten how to do long division. I don't need that skill anymore because my calculator has rendered it redundant. But my life and the lives of those around me do not depend on these atrophied skills of mine. Whereas a pilot's cognition of what's going on, gleaned from raw data sources when that's all there is left, is essential for survival.